how I swung through New York City like Spider-Man. It all started when I saw this, which made me want to watch this, 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 and then this. And I thought to myself, I can do that, so I did. First, I fired up Blender and used Kitbash 3D City Kits to create a New York City street. I laid out the road and then I put the buildings in place. Next, I placed different types of cars, trucks, buses, and taxis on the road for traffic. This made the city feel busy and active. At this point, I had created what I call my Sweet Tart City. This was everything I needed to start animating the camera, which was the trickiest part. I wanted to replicate this slow-mo shot from The Amazing Spider-Man, so I created a path and attached a camera to it. After the swing path was set up, I then had to animate the speed of the camera along the path. I slowed it down at the slow-mo part as well as when I reached the apex of my swings. Then I sped it up when I was falling to simulate gravity. Now I'm no math and a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's how gravity works. After the speed of the camera was set, I then had to animate its rotation at different points of the swing, especially when a web goes taunt. This is the subtle detail that really helps sell the physics of it all. For the end, I imported 3D models of all the different spider people we've seen on the big screen, and then I just had them stand there. After all the 3D work was done, it was time to render. In order to keep my PC from combusting into flames, I put two fans blowing at full blast into my open computer. 60 something hours of rendering later, I had something half decent. Now it was time to film the live action parts, which was literally just my hands. Something right there, Electro. I'm so sorry. After I was done pretending I was a child for 10 minutes, I imported the footage into After Effects and then keyed out the green using Primac gear. For the web shooters, I used advanced lightning and tweaked the settings to make it look like webbing. And then I slapped on Star Glow by Red Giant to make it look like the light was bouncing off of it. This gave it that silky web look that I was looking for. Next, I added some smoke puffs and then composited everything together using Super Comp. Finally, I sent it to Premiere Pro for the sound design, and then it was done. So, 